Hi everyone, this is Dr. Amir Gordy from Team Meritors, and I'll be sharing with you some motivating stories from our students who've scored really well in their exams, and we'll be finding out the secrets to success. And today we have with us Dr. Camelia Mukherjee. Uh, she has scored a remarkable rank of 207 in her NEET MDS 2024 exam. Uh, welcome, Camelia. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Tell us uh, about your journey. Tell us about your background. First of all, where are you from and how did it start for you? Uh, so, so I did my uh, UG from Government Dental College, uh, Bardhavan, West Bengal. After that, after completing my internship, uh, I was doing my house job till 2022 end. So, uh, I mean, I started my pre preparation from around uh, 2023 first, like uh, from January, February that uh, month um, but suddenly something went wrong and my health was deteriorating and uh, I mean it was a lot of uh, I mean my mental as well as physical health was uh, I mean very disturbed and it was a lot of taxing for me like 2023 year was a lot of taxing on my physical as well as mental health so I had to get out of it somehow so I mean fortunately 2024 rank was good enough like my all my hard work paid off so, yes, sir. So, it is as it is. Amazing. So, you had like a couple of months that you used for your 2023 preparation and you were not yes. happy with the result. No, no, sir. I was not happy. I and mean, then no, you no. applied again yes, for 2024. So, did you start immediately? How did the process start after the was, exam? Uh, I mean, after like I was thinking like 2023 was possibly my year. I mean, I wanted to settle down in 2023. Uh -huh. But obviously, things were not going according to my wish so obviously it was kind of a setback for me it took me around two to three months to get back and to comfort myself and obviously my uh, all teachers as well as my family kind of helped me so like i started studying of uh, around uh, 2023 august mm -hmm. around i started my preparation from uh, 2023 august and i kind of made sure key after that i should not be holding back a lot because everyone is studying everyone is preparing for this exam so you have to keep your foot forward always so yeah. yes sir so after that i kind of started with the exams regularly yeah, yeah. Like, exams they were a must like i have uh -huh. to come i made it uh, a point that i had to complete my portions every week and give the exam and also the matters app like the uh, question bank was a lot I mean I felt it a lot of uh, I mean I could go through a lot of questions every day like it was always there in there so it was helpful all right so you started like you had a total time of eight months for preparation where you wanted to finish all your uh, basic reading from the question bank and then take weekly tests so how yes. did you divide your daily routine like did you dedicate number of hours to your study or it was as per your convenience and mood and no sir i mean i made it a point that i have to study around six to seven hours because this is a competitive examination and everyone somehow is giving that much amount of time right. so i right at first only i had it in mind no i have to sit and study for six to seven hours daily and obviously the question bank from the meritors app and also the pulse book oh. which we use these two were the most important things always in my table. And uh -huh. uh, obviously, I went through the, after giving the weekly exams, I made it a point to solve, to go through the questions once again after completing my examination, because otherwise, it's no use, because you tend to forget everything. So that was my daily routine. Like, I had to complete, today I uh, start with oral surgery. So I know I have to complete this uh, chapters from the question bank, as well as the pulse. So this was always that today I had to go through this chapter and complete it. So otherwise it was all, it is going to put uh, like, it is uh, always going to be a backlog. Like, uh -huh. So that is how I kind of continued. Right. So uh, how exactly would you approach a subject? Like, did you have uh, problems with the, you know, conceptuality? How, how did you, because in internship you have to revise everything. From yes. scratch, patho micro is very, for example, very volatile, and you have to, you know, focus on a lot of facts. So, how did you start strategizing that from initial uh, phase of your preparation? Did you have any uh, strategy? Do you have any tips for that? 
obviously sir for i think for me uh, the dental subjects like we always get to do a lot of clinical work uh, yeah. for those subjects so we have uh, something in our head you know if a uh, case of rct is given if a case uh, of abscess is there so we know how to approach but the most important subjects i feel are the medical subjects because that is somewhere we all uh, are uh, lagging behind so i feel a little bit of textbook reading not in depth like going and the lectures the video lectures the sirs take uh -huh. just to keep your concepts clear that is a bit wide especially for subjects like pharma and medicine i feel Correct. you need to uh, study a little bit from the book and obviously go through the app that is always the bible i feel because at the end of the day that is the only we remember because everything we can't study at the last moment correct and how did you tackle reading big questions explanations you know because it's all very lengthy so how did you filter out the content uh, for me i felt okay the questions which i don't know at all i went through the solutions and the questions i marked right i did not go through the solutions that much because that is going to take a lot of time because i have marked it right okay so i need i just need to know the question and the answer but the questions where i went wrong i had to i just uh, made it a point to go through the solutions once for what and to okay. get the concept clear but later on when i got back to the same question i only got uh, saw the answer and the question because we don't have that much amount of time to go through the solutions every time i feel correct yeah so how much time did you spend on the initial preparation versus the revision like did you dedicate a lot of time to the revision or it was just mm -hmm. last few weeks no no i uh, for me i always uh, dedicate a time of like from December and January I started my revision because otherwise I'll forget. I don't know Correct. about others, but I'll forget. Yeah, that's I need to do at least uh, two readings hmm. for my exam. Twenty twenty three, I felt I did not read much. Like I could not uh, revise much. That was where I went uh, wrong. So twenty twenty four, I was uh, I made it a point that I had to revise. Exactly because if you don't revise whatever you've studied, also is going to evaporate. So yes. technically, revision is the most important uh, phase of your preparation, and your strategy should be such that while uh, you are preparing, you have to think about the revision in mind because yes. the last few weeks. The first time I read, I um, always I knew that I will go through this only like from the meters that my question back and the weekly tests were always that I will go through this and the pulse book and obviously for the medical subjects I kind of. Uh, Uh, referred one or two books, textbooks. Only few places I kind of uh, made it up, uh, like marked it, so that I could go to go back to it later. Right. Uh, so that was the only thing because I do not uh, did not use a lot of materials because later on we don't have time and it's just a waste of money buying a lot of books and everything. No, and it makes no sense because you are already reading enough uh, yes, from all the sources that you mentioned, and. it is it, the conceptual understanding is more important once you get the practice of it and once that starts rolling it's very easy to you know tackle one subject at a time and go go ahead and move forward but uh, did you sorry go ahead so i felt uh, during revision we need to be very much particular about where we uh, where we are lagging like not everyone is going to have the same subjects uh, right. like, like uh, difficulty with the same subjects like for me i felt medicine pharma general surgery because these subjects are very important for neat also because they carry the same amount of marks correct so i put a bit of lot of time for those subjects also because this time neat they gave conceptual questions from those subjects right and the dental subjects i felt finally we did a lot we studied a lot the app and the final exams the mock exams were also a lot tough like it was very helpful for me i mean of those course. questions i always uh, went through i think the end you you, okay. so how were you able to uh, find out what what was the weaker area what was the stronger subject what was your strategy after every mock how did you improve for each uh, yeah. time uh, so we used to get a uh, get mails from the uh, academy regarding the mocks after every mock we used to get a mail uh, suggesting where we should uh, kind of improve like mm -hmm. if my score was this like from here we can go 20 marks more than this 50 marks more than this kind of reduce my negatives so there was strategy implemented by the academy so if you follow that i think it kind of helps you and after that always you can go back to your solutions of the uh, mock test mm -hmm. refer to the app always and 
see where you are weak read that subject once more because not everyone is going to have the same oh, mistakes so i think the recommendations were very helpful very nice and uh, what was towards the end of your preparation like last last one week two weeks how were you uh, trying to cope up with all the pressure and all the stress and you know all that competition that comes in so what was your approach to the last two weeks of your exam preparation anyone has to keep their calm and composure i feel so be it your family be it your friends be it your teachers just try to be uh, surrounded by your uh, be, uh, i mean your family mm-hmm. i mean that kind of give, gives you a lot of confidence because they are the ones who, uh, like like for me my uh, family was very close so that kind of gave me a lot of composure and obviously um you have to study nothing else like you have to uh, get up every day and open your book open your app and go through it otherwise nothing is going to give you that uh, calmness at the end. absolutely absolutely right and then now after this rank you have 207 right yes sir. so that would be a good state rank and uh, what what exactly are your plans ahead from here what do you plan to do um so uh, obviously i kind of uh, want to take i mean let's see how the counseling goes uh, obviously a good college from all india or state anything mm-hmm. like we need to get through the seat matrix obviously so anything Correct. i mean pedo conservative let's see sir surgery everything mm-hmm. i mean so you're more into I'm... restorative fields and then surgical of course okay. that's amazing and why why do you want to do pedo or cons as a first priority um something i feel i'm uh, this branch is evolving mm-hmm. a lot of course it and, is uh, and we get a lot of exposure being in a if we kind of do it from a, from any gdcs in india at this moment like we get a lot of patients and different mm-hmm. type of patients so right. there's a lot of a lot more of exposure from this uh, background so this is something which is kind of new and uh, evolving every day so i want to try it yeah the patient workflow is always going to get better for consendo and pedo these are evergreen with regards to the number of patients that you get to treat and of course they are at the top of their game right now well that was amazing uh, camelia uh, just to summarize our brief uh, meeting today you have done exceptionally well in your neat mds exam and congratulations on that and you are a true example of what dedication and hard work can achieve regardless of no matter what challenges can uh, come your way so we are very proud of your performance and thank you so much for giving us such a positive feedback on the app thank you so much for giving us your time to connect with us today we are very happy and we wish you all the luck in the future and keep in touch and let us know all your success stories ahead in life thank you If you found this video useful and inspiring make sure you give us a like don't forget to follow and subscribe for more such content and if you have not downloaded the meritors app you can find the link in the comments in the captions below so download now and start your preparation right away